Hello everyone, today I will show you how to do block randomization in clinical trials. In my example, I have taken 60 volunteers. So in the block randomization I have done, I have taken group of 4 volunteers and 6 blocks. But I will show you how to do it in group of 2. So I have taken 60 volunteers out here and I will divide these 60 volunteers in groups. So I am taking two volunteers in each group. So volunteer 1 and 2 will be in group 1. Volunteer 3 and 4 will be in group 2. Volunteer 5 and 6 will be in group 3 and so forth so as there are 60 volunteers out here the total number of groups will be 30 now I will write all these groups out here group 1 to group 30 So I have got 30 groups out here and I will divide them in blocks. The possible number of blocks could be 2. Like in this I have taken group of 4 so the number of possibilities are 6. So A could be test drug and B could be the placebo or A could be the placebo and B could be the test drug. So out here I will take placebo test that is the one block another block could be test and placebo so similar way what I will do I will put test and placebo out here so first 15 groups will be placebo and test and next 15 groups will be test and placebo now I will put a random code out here and I will insert a function out here type random press go and you will get this rand function rand insert it out here press ok now excel has inserted a random number out here I will insert it in all the 30 groups now I will select both these columns I will filter it now what I will do I will sort this column the random numbers from smallest to largest and as you will see I am sorting it to sort smallest to largest the, even the blocks will get sorted See. I will show it again first 15 groups are placebo and test next are test and placebo and as I am arranging this smallest to largest it is getting randomized see now group 1 is test and placebo group 2 is test placebo and group 6 is placebo test group 7 is placebo test so no matter how many patients you are taking like for example if you are ending your study with 10 volunteers only so that is group 5 up to group 5 the number of test and placebo will remain the same that is 5 5 test and 5 placebo groups so according to this volunteer 1 will be test volunteer 2 will be placebo Volunteer 3 will get test drug, volunteer 4 will get placebo. Now I will come to volunteer 11 who will get placebo, volunteer 12 will get test, volunteer 13 will get placebo, 
volunteer 14 will get test and so forth so now all the volunteers are randomized in either test group or placebo group by block randomization block randomization is done out here with groups of two that is by two possible blocks out here I have done the block randomization by group of four see there are 60 volunteers so the total number of groups are 15 as I have taken four volunteers in each group so total number of possible blocks are six these are the possible number of blocks which I have got by doing three factorial that is three into two into one so six possible number of blocks which I have repeated out here as well I have inserted the random function sorted it smallest to largest and the groups got randomized as you can see out here the volunteer number one will get A volunteer number two will get B volunteer number three will get B volunteer number four will also get A so it is randomized